It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer and it's time to take a look at the North Brewing Company door number two on their advent calendar, their Christmas advent calendar. Now we've done door number one and that turned out to be a double IPA at 8.4% ABV. So what a start that was. So door number two is here. Uh, let's get it out. Ooh, what's an advent calendar without a bit of a fight, eh? So this is the Sputnik 5% ABV Pale Ale. 440 milliliter can. This should be really, really good. 440 milliliters of great northern beer. Uh, this brewery is based in Leeds, Yorkshire. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Little bit of smoke on the can opening. Beer in the glass. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Yes, great looking beer. But Nick, now, I have had this beer, and I can remember it being absolutely fantastic. I've got a two-finger white head on this one. Uh, good levels of slow-moving uh, carbonation, and it's a straw-coloured, hazy-looking beer. It's really good. Uh, this is our third year of doing beer advent calendars on YouTube, and... This is the first time I've kind of concentrated specifically on one brewery. The beer advent calendars previous to that, I had one German one where it was beer from all over Germany, which was really exciting. And then I can't quite remember last year's. Last year's, I can't quite remember it. I think it was um, like a bottle shop, a bottle, com bottle shop company, and it was all like different beers, quirky beers, um, interesting stuff, beer that I hadn't tried before. And then we got talking with North Brewing Company. I do a lot of my stuff on Instagram with North and we chatted and yeah, I thought, yeah, this is a great idea because it's changing things up. It's changing the game all of the time, isn't it? This is the first time I'm having a calendar from just one brewery. Um, but they produce some fantastic beers, don't they, North Brewing Company? So um, this is going to be... I'll be honest, two of the beers so far, one double IPA, one pale ale. Uh, I know I know a lot, a lot of these craft breweries are kind of... They do lean towards being hoppy beer-centric because that's what's popular. But what I'm hoping from this calendar is maybe some stouts too maybe a couple of lagers, just to kind of like mix things up a bit. I've kind of got my fingers crossed for this. Um, so there's only one way to find out, and that's to tune in every day and tick down the numbers until and, until we kind of work out exactly what we've had from this box. But so far, so blooming good. Aroma on the beer then. This is lovely and light, refreshing. Whereas the double IPA was really kind of boomf, it was full on with the hops. This is more of a, it's got more of a fresher feel to it, more of a, like a sessionable, like you could really take some big sips of this. Juicy and refreshing and clean and crisp. That's what I'm getting from the aroma. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Mm. 
Oh, exactly what the doctor ordered. Yes, really good. Oh, this, <laughs> there's the double IPA. And that's the thing, see, I haven't got to kind of like hide the cans much, have I? Because that's beer number one, Ultra Face. I don't have to hide the cans because it's all from one company. You know, it's not, there's no shocker here, is it? There's no surprises, really. There will be surprises, but what I, what I mean is there's no like need to hide cans and whatnot. I might just leave them all over there with my... I've been doing a bit of work in the conservatory again, plasterboard in the wall behind me, and took all my beer bottles down. All my, these are all my collaboration beers that I've done over the years. <laughs> Loads, aren't they? Some from Poland and Germany and Sweden and <laughs> stuff from all over the world. Norway. Hmm. That is fantastic. Just, just light, refreshing. A little bit of pineapple, a little bit of grapefruit. A really easy drinking beer. Just, just lovely and well. It's easy going. This is easy going. This is like exactly what I want today. This is exactly what I want right now in this moment. And that makes the beer review nice and kind of, but it goes your way, doesn't it? It goes your way. It, it kind of just something nice, easy, refreshing, crisp. Sometimes that's all you want. I was playing snooker last night. And the bloke behind the bar has kind of come to realise that I've got this YouTube channel. Because I don't boast about things. I, I don't kind of talk too much about it. But he's come to realise that I've got a YouTube channel. And he's pouring me my bitter. And he's like, is that good enough for you, sir? And that's like having a bit of a crack and a joke. And I said to him, I said, when I play snooker, when I, when I kind of come and enjoy and relax, I don't think about beer at all. Because beer is my day job. I said, I can completely switch off from drinking this pint. I'll just drink it playing snooker. I'm con fully 100% concentrated on playing that game of snooker today. And I got a funny feeling that this, if this was in the bar at my snooker hall, here's the door. That was my, some of you might have watched my live feed on Friday where I bought myself a Black Friday gift for myself. I bought myself a vertical radiator. That was it arriving just there. So where I was I? I was talking about snooker and, and beers and it, it, it will all make sense in a moment. Um, my point here is this is a great tasting parallel. If you want to concentrate on all of the flavours you can. The crisp malt, the hoppiness of it, the passion fruit, mango, grapefruit, a bit of pineapple in there. You can really kind of just think and have your thoughts with this beer if you want to. But I think at the same time as well, this is a beer that you could, you know, if you've had like a long day in work or you, you, you just want to take your mind off something and, and you just want to maybe have a game of snooker like I do. You could probably drink this and, and not be too overcomplicated with it whilst you're playing snooker. You could switch off and enjoy your beer and play snooker at the same time. Does that make sense? I like it. It's a great parallel. A great parallel. Um, apologies for the door knocking. Nothing I can really do about that. Um, a hazy and crisp American parallel, light in colour and body, with an assertive piney bitterness and fruity candy aroma. 5% ABV. Yeah, it, it's great. Whether you want to overthink this beer, whether you want to kind of go through all of its flavours, whether you just want to switch off and enjoy a few beers, uh, in, in a bit of a relaxation mode. This beer has it all. I like it. It's a classic from North. It's a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.